Hello, today I'm going to be speaking, teaching and preaching on made in the image of God. Let's pray. Father God, I just repent of any sins that I may have committed, Father. Let me stop the people from hearing the word, Father. I pray, Father, for the people that any sins that may have committed that are blocking their hearts from hearing your word and understanding your word, Father. I say that they have repented, Father, and they ask for forgiveness, Father. Father, you are merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in mercy, Father. Give us forgiveness, Father, and we ask you to come humbly to the throne of grace and receive your forgiveness, Father. For you are a loving, kind, merciful, compassionate God, Father. And we thank you for that. And open our hearts today that we may see your word and see that we are made in your image. In Jesus' mighty holy name, amen and hallelujah, amen. Today... We live in a world to do with image. Society is all about image. The first thing, when you see a person, I'm just going to ask you an example here. Be honest and truthful. When you see a person, what do you first judge them on? Their looks, the way they dress, what they wear? Or do you judge them on your, their character first? Well, if you said the latter... That would technically be impossible because you cannot judge a person's character because you don't know them. So we, at first, as goes the old saying, you judged a book by its cover. That's why when Samuel went to go to the house of Jesse, Jesse to find the new king of Israel that God wanted to anoint, he looked at the outward appearance. But God says... Don't look at the outward appearance. The outward appearance is deceiving. But look at the heart. The Lord looks at the heart. So, today, I want to ask you a question. Are you looking at the looks or are you looking at the heart? Because sometimes we don't even give people a chance because of the way they look. We may ignore a homeless person on the street because of the way they look. You, you see what I mean here? I want us to go... To, we may be rude to people because of the way they look, the way they dress. I want us to go to Genesis 1, verse 26 to 27. Say amen when you're there. Genesis 1 verse 26 says, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. What this shows here is that we are created in the image of God. God loves us. Because we are created of the image of God, we don't need to be upset about the way we look. We don't need to be jealous or covetousness about the way other people look because we are all made in the image of God. We are all beautiful. Now, right now, there will be on the screen... A detailed picture of the human body that God created. All of this, he counted the hairs on your head. He bottled the tears that you cry. He counted the hair on your head. He knows everything about you. You are made in his image. The background picture that you're seeing right now is a detailed image of inside the human body that God created. He made you the way you are. You don't need to be angry, upset. Even if people reject you because of the way you look, because of the way you look on the outside. Goliath 
thought that David was just a boy, a little boy, to da- to Goliath's and the army statue. Even to King Saul, this boy looked like nothing. He was short. He didn't look like he was a fearsome warrior, a king. But God said, look at the heart. Today, there are many people who don't look at the heart. Society is not based on looking at the heart anymore. It's based on looking at the looks. Commercial ads, wherever you go, everything is based around the looks. If something doesn't look appealing, most odds, most likely you won't take it. So it's based around looks. Nothing's based around the heart anymore. Nothing's based about the actual content inside. All that was based on is the outward appearance. Outward appearance can be deceiving. Because the devil can look like an angel of light. But inside he's full of rotten darkness and death. And trying to enslave humanity back to sin and death. I want us to go to Genesis 9 verse 6. Say amen when you're there. Whoever sheds man's blood, by man his blood shall be shed. For in the image of God he made man. (coughs) (coughs) What this shows here is that we are made in the image of God. And that just solidifies what I've been saying throughout. God made us. He loves us. So love yourself. A lot of the ways that people have anxiety, depression, upsetness, or any other mental illness, most of the time it is caused by their physical appearance. The reason is, is because because we're in a society that's based around looks, and then they feel that their looks aren't good enough to society, they feel bad about themselves, and then they fall into the enemy's lies and traps of anxiety, depression, and mental illnesses. What I'm telling you today, folks, people, what I'm telling you is today, don't let the enemy trick your mind into thinking you're nothing. You are worth much more than what the devil or society makes you look like. You are made in the image of God. You are his creation. If an artwork is made in the likeness of its creator, painter, artist, it will have the authenticity of the artist, the creativity of the artist. It will feel special. We are special. You are special to God. Because you are made in his image. Every person that dies on this earth today is made in the image of God and God loves them. He knows them. He knows the intricacies, the intricacies of their inside and out. He knows everything that even with science or we don't even know. Because he made us. He loves us. And Job... When God confronted Job, he showed Job all the intricacies of the of this complex world and universe that Job could not even comprehend. That even if we tried to understand, we cannot comprehend because he is God. We are made in his image, his likeness. That's why we know when we love when we're kind, we show God's character. We show other people who he is. We should be going out there and showing other people who he is. And this is why I, this is why the Bible stresses, and I stress to you today, don't be rude to anyone. Don't, it says don't be rude, don't lie, don't covetousness, don't cheat. Because you are made 
in the image of God. And God loves you. And other people are made in the image of God. So you should not bring them down. But you should lift them up. Because we are made in the image of God. And I just want to speak to you tonight. That if you don't know that the gift that Jesus has died on the cross for. For us. For me. For you. If you don't know this beautiful, wonderful gift that he's given us. They can wash you away clean of his blood. Can wash you away clean from all your sin, your shame, your regret. Can wash you clean and you can be entered into the Lamb's book of life. Repeat this prayer after me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I repent of my sin. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. And I receive you as my Lord and as my Savior. From this day forward, in Jesus' mighty holy name, amen. And hallelujah, amen. Now, I just want to give you another scripture. James 3, 9. And I want you to memorize the scripture. With it, we bless our Lord and Father. And with it, we curse men who have been made in the likeness of God. Don't curse your fellow brother and sister. Don't curse them. They are made in the image of God as well. And you fellow born again believers, you have been entered into the Lamb's book of life. And I recommend you reading the book of John, as John is a fundamental scripture and book to read when you're starting out your new walk with Jesus. Now you have just picked up the cross, picked up the mantle, and you are following him. I urge you, you born again believer, to treat everyone as they have, treat everyone right, righteously, justly, and equal as they have all been made in the image of God. Just because of one's looks, you should not treat them, they should not have different treatment compared to the homeless one, to the bad looking. Because we are all made in the image of God. Because God has counted the hairs on our head. And because he loves us. He loves you. This background picture that you have been seeing throughout this preaching just shows the intricacies, amen and hallelujah, I said the word right, the intricacies of what God has made us, things that you wouldn't even know about. So I urge you to not look on the outward appearance like Samuel did at first, but look at the heart. Look at the character of the person. Look how God sees them. Not how society sees them. Not how you think you should see them. But see them as God sees them. Jesus gave everyone a chance. He sat down with the sinners, the tax collectors, the adulterers, the blind, the lepers, the people considered Bad, he sat with them and loved them. Make sure you like, share, comment and subscribe. I want to hear your feedback. And if you have any questions, put it in the comment section so I can reply to them. Amen and hallelujah. And if you just accepted yourself... As a born-again believer, I want you to type in the comments, I am born again. This message is made in the image of God. Thank you for listening and have a blessed week.